Hello and welcome to uh, Zontool PGN tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a PGN, which I already covered in the previous video, what a PGN is, uh, within our system. In order to do so, you could use the omnipresent add new button that is at the top right of every page on our platform, as well as you can open the left menu and use the add new button over here. So whenever, whichever one you click, what's going to happen is this pop-up will come out and we'll show you a series of actions that we can take on a PGN. The first one is to create a PGN and then we can add new things to PGN, add new SKUs, add new keywords, add new negative. For now on, we're going to just focus on uh, a brand new PGN. Um, as I covered already in my previous video and as you can read here, so a PGN is a, a system uh, a group, an ecosystem of campaigns, a broad campaign, a phrase campaign, an exact campaign, and an outer campaign, which is to completely manage. We manage enabling and posing keywords, we manage your bids, and we manage uh, customer search term mining, as well as uh, customer search negating, all automated based on the threshold that you give us. So let's go ahead and create a PGN. So let's create the add new you will be brought to this screen when we ask you, uh, first of all, imagine you're on Amazon, you need to tell Amazon what's the name of a campaign or the ad group. In this case, we ask you the name of a PGN. Uh, my advice is uh, to name it after the product you're advertising. Uh, either include a SKU, maybe include the ASIM, as well as include the, the letter ZT or letter PGN. Uh, for you to easy searching and to separate the, the one we create from the one that you have already created. So let's go ahead and let's create a, a test spatula. Uh, let's say you put this queue over here. And I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna add just to remember that this is a campaign that I run on, on Zone Tools or I can I create on Zone Tool. I will add ZT. All right, bit plus, you can choose to have bit plus or not. Remember, we're going to create four campaigns for you. So my advice would be to leave bit plus off and maybe after in a second time, go and switch it on only for your exact campaign. Maximum keyword spend. Uh, most of this trace will be already been covered in a previous video uh, about how to uh, set up rules for your existing campaigns. So um, I'm not going to go too in depth on them, so please go ahead and watch the other videos. But basically, maximum keyword spend is um, how much maximum you want to spend per keyword without a sale. Uh, the, the lower level will be your dollar profit that you make for a product. The higher level will be how much you're selling the product for. So assuming that I'm selling a product for $15, if I was uh, to launch this product and this was the first campaign or the goal of the campaign was visibility, I will put 15 here. If, on the other hand, this is a maintenance campaign or maintenance PGN, and I don't want to spend so much, I will uh, figure out how much the profit dollar will be on this product. So assuming it is a 30% profit margin, my profit dollar will be clean, will be five. So I will put five. So I wouldn't want to spend more than the money I'm making in my pocket for a keyword without a sale. All right, so uh, let's say this is a, a visibility campaign, launch campaign, so I'm happy to go aggressive. So I put $15, which is assuming what I'm selling this spatula for. Target ACOS, also here, basically what you can do, uh, if it's a visibility, I generally go and ranking, I generally go for my profit margin, which is in this example is 30%. If on the other end, I was, uh, willing to keep 10% of my pocket, assuming that my profit margin is 30, I will put 20. But again, in this case, uh, let's, uh, visibility, traffic, ranking, so I put 30% ACOS target. Um, I'd like you to notice that you have two tips coming out, which kind of explain what I'm telling you. Default bid, as if you were on Amazon, we're asking you the default bid. So what is the, the default bid of this PGN? Uh, what's going to happen on the back end, what we do with the default bid is that in case you put a default bid of 
we will stagger this bit down. So we will bid 100% of it at the exact level, we will bid 75% of it at the phrase level, 50% of it at the broad level, and only 25% at the auto level. Uh, in order for you to get started with, with the least amount of retouch possible for your business. So you can just push out PGN after PGN, knowing that we take care of the staggering. Of course, in a second time, you can go and edit this threshold and this um, bidding strategy. But for now, uh, in my experience, and after we've been working with hundreds of customers on Zone Tool, we've seen that this is, uh, this is a very good starting point. Daily budget. This is um, the daily budget for the whole ecosystem. So not for one campaign, but how much you want to spend for this product across the whole PGN. And the way, if you give us a hundred daily budget, what we will do, we will stagger it like so. We will bid 40% of it on the exact campaign. We will bid 30% of it on a phrase, 20% of a broad and 10% of the auto. So basically your daily budget for the exact will be 30 dollar. For the phrase daily budget campaign will be 30, broad will be 20 and auto will be 10. And again, we do this for you because we've seen that my business and the hundred of users that we worked with, this is pretty much what they would do after uh, if we didn't stagger everything. Bid increment, the default is 0.11. Uh, bid increment is uh, for um, after a certain amount of click that you define over here. So how many clicks you want to wait for the automation to start. So in this case, after 10 clicks, we will look at your average bid and we'll bid add this on top of your current bid. Okay, again, I cover this more in depth in another video. So. Uh, go and look uh, how to set uh, rules on your existing campaigns. Minimum bid is the absolute minimum bid uh, that our tool will uh, set within this PGN. Again, this is covering the other video, so please go and look at that one. Uh, but default is 02. Minimum conversion rate is uh, by default is 0. Also, this one is in another video, so please go and check that one. Um, so basically, uh, aside for the max spend and the target echoes, I set everything as a default. Now, SKUs. What we're gonna do with SKUs? Uh, being this a test campaign, I'm gonna I'm gonna simply take this and I'm gonna let's put two SKUs in here. You put one SKU per line. So test battle SQ one, test battle SQ two. Now, the very 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 important thing about this is that you have to put SKUs that are relevant to the same keywords within a PGN, as well as you have to put SKUs that have the same price point. So you wouldn't want to put a SKU that you're selling for 10 bucks and a SKU that you're selling for 100 bucks, because this is going to be very, very, very hard for you to optimize. Uh, the, our automation our tool will run based on your threshold, so that's not the point. The point is that how, what's going to be your echoes? What is going to be your maximum spend if one item in varies 10 bucks and another item is 50 bucks? And the same, so the third point, so relevant to the same keyword, same sales price point, as well as same or very, 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 very similar uh, profit margin. Again, because we're going to optimize for echoes and your echoes threshold is based on the profit margin. So you can put one SKU, you can put as many SKUs as you want, as long as you cover the three points that I just mentioned. As for keywords, um, uh, my advice here as a starting point will be to having a great uh, item. So you source and choose a very, very good product because of market research. You create a fantastic listing. You had a very, very deep keyword search. So here you should put five to 10 high volume, high relevancy keyword from which our tool then will grow because we will start mining both from the auto campaign and from a broad and phrase mesh, the custom search terms, users, buyers used to buy your product and we will add them back into the system 
growing the amount of keywords you have and growing your uh, campaigns and visibility. So now start with five to 10 high volume, high relevancy keyword. If you see that the PGN is not evolving fast enough, you can always add more at a set of time. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just put test keyword one for the sake of this presentation. Test keyword four, test keyword three, test keyword four. Okay. Now the sync buttons. Uh, what we will do if the sync buttons are on, we will push all this data to Amazon. We will create all the ecosystem of the PGN, all the campaigns and all the ad groups, all the keywords as positive as negative and all the biddings and everything for you. And then we will sync back to our dashboard. So we will download everything back to our dashboard so that you don't have to. Uh, and you can work on this PGN straight away after. Now, this is good if you are creating and working only on one PGN, but it takes some time. Generally, it takes about 20 seconds to push everything to Amazon and download back. The more keywords you have, the more skills you have, the more it will take to download it back. So my advice is if you are about to create more than a PGN back to back, let's say you're about to create just 10 program, 10 PGNs, one after the other, my advice would be to switch off the sync and just push all the data to Amazon. And once you've done creating all the 5, 10, 11, 20 PGNs, only after sync all the data at once from within our platform. This is going to streamline um, your, your work process and make everything much faster. But for the sake of the presentation, right now, I want to sync everything back so I can show you what happens. All right, so I'm going to uh, save this product group. And as you see, the dashboard is thinking, and I'm going to pause the video for now. OK, it took about like 10 seconds. Once the PGN is saved, we, you do get a notification, PGN saved. And your product PGN can be seen in, in two places. So if you simply go to the campaign page, And like I advise you, you will search for the word ZT and it enter in our search text part. You will see what the PGN has done. The PGN has created one, two, three, four campaigns for you. Okay. And every campaign is a maximum spend of $15 and a maximum echoes of 30%. Um, the auto campaign, although it is right and set here, is also set to the 30% echo threshold. Uh, we are fixing this little bug right now. Now, so as I said, the first place you can see your campaigns, which you're used to, but also not that we have a PGN product group dashboard. Okay. And if you go to your product group dashboard, you will see that there is a product group, which is test spatula. And here right now, because it's a new PGN, we don't have statistics, but what we will do, we will merge and sum up all the statistics of all the uh, four campaigns within the PGN and show you in a very, very clear and easy to understand way how the whole ecosystem of the PGN is performing. Are you reaching your goals or not? Now, if you want to go and see what we did, you can click on the ad groups. So this will bring you at the campaign level. I show you the navigation in a previous video. If you go and look at the uh, basic tutorials, there is a, a specific video uh, dedicated on how to navigate our platform. So I'm going to just click on the red icon, which is going to show me the ad groups. And you see the four, the ad, all the ad groups that are within the PGN with their default bids. And you, as you can see, the default bid, like I told you, has been staggered by our system. So $1 be exact, 75 cents of the phrase, 50 cents abroad and 25% VA uh, at the auto. And if I go back at the PGN level and we look at the campaigns that are inside the PGN, you will see that the campaign budget is also being staggered. The highest budget went to be exact, 30% went to the phrase, 20% went to abroad, and 10% went to the auto. 
Um, yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, what we're going to cover in the next video is how to add new keywords or add new SKUs or add new negative to your uh, current existing PGNs. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.